Salete de Skipubi. Here we have an explanation video for the third sentence in our pod today. That is, ne ille dicat urbem victam iri ab hostibus. Now, this is a tricky sentence because we have two different constructions going on in the same sentence. First, let's look at the subjunctive. So I noticed that I only have one main verb here, that is dicat. We have to see if that is subjunctive. We should hopefully know that dico dicere is third conjugation, which means that that a middle vowel is indeed subjunctive. So we do have a subjunctive verb there. Now we look for our clues, ut or ne. We have ne, which is out here in the beginning of our sentence. And so that tells us that this is a jessive subjunctive because the ne is at the beginning. They'll also throw a nice not into our sentence because the ne makes it a negative jessive subjunctive. Now we're going to parse everything else in our sentence. I'm looking for a subject and I find it here with ille. So I'm going to mark that as our subject. Now I'm looking for uh, some sort of direct object, other things. I should notice that I have weak tom eerie here, which is an infinitive. I have an infinitive, and I have deco, which is a head verb, making this an indirect statement. What kind of infinitive is weak tom eerie? We should look at eerie for that. That is a future passive infinitive. Remember, fourth principal part plus eerie equals a future passive infinitive. So we have an indirect statement there. Now I can place everything else. Urbem is accusative, but that means it's going to be the subject of my indirect statement. And I'm going to start bracketing my indirect statement there. Lastly, I have ob hostibus, which is an ablative object of a preposition. So that's what my sentence framing should look like right there. Now it's time to translate. Still, remember that the start of your indirect statement is an unbreakable wall, so don't move things back and forth across the brackets. So I'm going to start with ne ille dicat. Now this is a jessive, so let ille him ne not dicat say. Let him not say, moving into the indirect statement, that the urbem, the city, Victam Eri will be conquered ab hostibus by the enemies. Nice ablative of agent there. So again, the beginning of our sentence, ne ille dicat, let him not say, or perhaps don't let him say, something like that. Uh, ne there gives us the not. So let him not say that, subject of our indirect statement, urbem, the city, Victam Eri's future passive, so it's happening in the future, will be conquered ab hostibus by the enemies. Altogether, let him not say, or don't let him say, that the city will be conquered by the enemies. So a little bit more complex there because we have two constructions, but when you parse it out and figure it out, becomes a little bit easier there. Let me know if you still need help with this sentence. We have some tricky sentences today, but well done. Keep working hard on your Latin. Let me know if you need some extra assistance. Well, I'd say to skip a bee.